Today I'm here to show you a place that treats and helps real life victims. It is one of Safe Horizons Child Advocacy Centers and it is a place where the children who are the victims of abuse can come and find treatment under one roof and get the help they so desperately need. When a child first enters the Safe Horizon Child Advocacy Center, they find a welcoming, child-friendly space filled with toys and games to play with, or movies they can watch. And having a reception area set up this way can help a traumatized child feel safer and more comfortable. This is where Safe Horizon will help a child do something extraordinarily hard. Talk about the abuse they have suffered. During that forensic interview process, it's a fine balance between trying to get as much information, as much detail about what happened, but at the same time trying to make it easy for the child to talk about that. As the child and the interviewer talk, there is a special team of people listening to what the child is saying. This team is made up of a detective from the police department, a representative from Child Protective Services, the district attorney's office, and Safe Horizons' own staff. As the interview is, is being conducted and the rest of the team is observing the interview, we're, um, we're beginning to plan, make plans for the, that family, plans for prosecution, plans for services. Um, we decide the course the investigation is going to take. You know, it speeds up the process. It also minimizes the number of times the child and the family might have to come back to the center for interviews. The medical examination is one of the most sensitive and delicate parts of this experience. The key of the examination is to um, give power to the child. In a lot of cases when a child has been sexually abused, the child's power has been taken away. It is important to talk to the children and allow them to express their fears. And for me, it's the beginning of the healing process. Located within the center, there are over a dozen police officers working at each site specially assigned to handle child abuse cases. The space in which the officers work is called a special victims unit, where there is an interview room and a jail cell. While the detectives work to place the abuser under arrest, the child and his or her family will need more help beyond what the doctors and detectives have done for him. And they have questions. This is a place that helps children in crisis. And these are the people who help them. They are all under one roof to help move these children from a place of crisis to a place of confidence.